and heading south towards the Kondanani orphanage, where Mercy lived for the first three years of her life, the life before Madonna. I've been told they're very suspicious of outsiders and have an electric fence to keep out wild dogs, thieves and journalists like me. So I don't know if I'll get in, but it's worth a shot. By chance, I run into an election rally. President Bingu is passing through with his amazing roadshow. Could this be an opportunity to ask the government about Madonna, Mercy and the Kabbalah? I'm thinking of asking the president a question. I don't know whether to cut to the chase and say, why are you allowing Madonna to build a Kabbalah state here? But suddenly, I'm not feeling quite so brave. It's like the arrival of God. I'm going to vote for him, that's for sure. Excuse me. Is that Anita? Hello, I'm Jack Peretti from Channel 4 in the UK. Nice to meet you. I wondered if I could ask you a couple of questions, if you've got time. Um, we're here in, the, uh, in Malawi making a film about Madonna and her investment in the country. And I just wondered what you feel about all the money that she's invested in the country, whether it's a good thing for Malawi. It is a good thing to Malawi, yes. Do you think it's... We appreciate for that. And do you, do you feel that... Uh, accusations that the government are together with Madonna, that they're in bed with Madonna, do you feel that they are fair or unfair? Mm, I comment on that one again. No. Okay. So a very political no comment. But shortly after the mad rally, I am miraculously ushered to a formal sit-down interview with the government spokesperson for adoption, Silas Jekke. Clearly the government wants to look transparent. Have you heard of the background of Raising Malawi? Do you know that they are founded by the Kabbalah, by Michael Berg, who is the head of the Kabbalah in the States, and Madonna, who is a prominent Kabbalah person? No, we don't know. You don't know anything about that? No. So you haven't heard any uh, accusations of the fact that Madonna uh, and the Kabbalah, through Madonna, would create or could create a Kabbalah state in Malawi by their investment? <laughs> Maybe that could be beyond our ministry. <laughs> My mandate is to speak on the issues that lead to children and the women, because I'm a, a spokesperson for the ministry. So I talk about children. I but this know. is your area, Silas. Yeah, this, but this my, is your my area. area is not spiritual. Do you know anything about the village Chinkota One, where Madonna is planning to build a school? Mm -hmm. Do you know, because we've been to that village and we talked to the chief and the villagers, they were told that they had donated their land for this school, for no money. Mm -hmm. The land has been marked up, and they said that the government have marked up the land for Madonna to build a school without their consent and without them wanting it. Mm, well, if it, uh, that one, I don't know. What they have done and how they have done it, I wouldn't comment much, all right? I guess. They are following the procedures. Yeah, I guess. The following point. procedures. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that might mean. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Through his laughter, yeah, JK sure. confirmed what Mabvuta had told me on my first day in Malawi, that the government are working together with Madonna. Silas, doesn't this feel to you like white colonialism all over again? The rich white missionary coming into an African country and preaching a new religion and saying, take this and you shall be saved? No. Because I think the, the missionaries, when they were coming, they clearly declared themselves as missionaries. Dr. David Livingston was moving with the Bible. Here you are. I think you've just given possibly the best answer I've heard since I've been in Malawi, which is that the first missionaries came and they declared themselves. And that's the difference between the missionaries 150 years ago and the missionaries now. The missionaries now <laughs> are not declaring themselves. <laughs> He's in no position to stop Madonna and the Kabbalah. 
the government appear as much bystanders in Mercy's story as Mercy's family are. There's an unstoppable juggernaut here, and that juggernaut is Madonna. But the interview with Silas has diverted me from going to Mercy's orphanage. At the court, I was told by the authorities, including Madonna's lawyer, that Mercy is at the Condonani orphanage. I think we're coming up to it. the Condonani village. Hello, my name's um, Jack Peretti. I'm from Channel 4. Okay, yes. how can I help you? Well, we're making a film, it's the whole Madonna adoption thing. I we talked to the project leader. Amazingly, she agrees to let us film. You're welcome. Well, that's very kind. No other Western camera crew has been allowed inside, yeah. right. though she does check me out with one man in particular. 